So, four weeks ago, when I started OMAD, I was weighing in at 206 pounds. Are you doing this work to facilitate growth or to become famous? And today, four weeks later, I weighed in at 202.8. So in four weeks, I lost 3.2 pounds. My app says I only lost 2.9. So we'll call in the middle, we'll say three pounds. Three pounds. Three pounds in four weeks. That's 0.75 pounds per week. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Obviously you wanna be at the one pound per week. I think that's kind of like the sickest threshold. But you know, I'm doing this with such a, like a long-term vision. Like I'm really prepping for next August. Like I'm gonna have time in between that to do a little bit of a bulk as well. That's fine. 0.75 pounds per week is totally, totally legit. This week though is gonna be super interesting because I'm going to Quebec for three days to film a corporate retreat where all my meals are provided, three meals per day, really good dinners, buffet lunch. And I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Realistically, realistically, I'm gonna have the buffet once and I'm always gonna have the dinners. Breakfast is the easiest meal in the world to skip. So it should be fine. You wanna see how much gear I have for this week? Forgot to mention that I got a pretty nasty workout in this morning. Which I haven't done a morning workout in a while. It felt good, full body split, you know the deal. But the problem is I'm completely starving now, but I'm not trying to eat till dinner. It's only 10.30. But that's what we got sparkling water for. You still the same oh. All right, it's, uh, it's like 10 o'clock right now. Made it to Quebec. I broke my fast with uh, like a couple hundred calories of granola bar and vegetables. And then a few hours later, we had steak, bread, and soup. And a little piece of cake. Cake had gold on it, though. I was losing money if I didn't try it. It's pretty good. Feel good. Don't feel full. It's always really like a really good thing to, <laughs> to look at if you're not counting calories too strictly. It's just like, are you full? If you're really full, probably over eight. If you're comfortable... Good chance you had a deficit, and if you're starving, good job. Lunch doesn't even look that good. Looks terrible. That is true. All right. It's 6.45. Not gonna make it to the gym today. I should have gone this morning but I just did not. I had, to be, I had to start filming around 8 a.m. Could have gone earlier, but I didn't wake up in time, blah, blah, blah. Excuse, 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 excuse. And then 6.45 now, I have to be at dinner at 7.15 to film some more stuff. So I'm just not gonna make it. Taking today off, taking the L. Doesn't feel great, doesn't feel terrible. But uh, wait, she will just grind tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Doesn't fucking matter, anyways. Broke my fast, it's a 17 hour fast with some granola bar, carrots and dip, and a couple other random snacks that came in. I'm on this trip, I'm on this fucking work trip, there's food everywhere, constantly. Left corner, right corner, granola bar, apple, orange juice, breakfast buffet, lunch buffet. Didn't have any other buffets which is crazy because it's basically like I'm losing money. Someone paid for me to be here, paid for my food, I'm not eating it, I'm losing. One meal a day, grinder, semi, semi grinder. I think I might eat the lunch buffet tomorrow though, or the breakfast one bro. But uh, yeah, steak again for dinner. I'll see you tomorrow. Conference day three. Oh, is there a room? It's pretty sick. This is where I sleep. The most uncomfortable couch bed ever to be created. 
Catch you at? Editing station. Loser bed. This is the trolley we stole. This is our sick rock and view of lake. Look who it is. YouTube. I like my sick robe. Just went to the spa. By spa, I mean hot tub outside. No big deal. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I ate everything inside today. I didn't leave anything on the table. I had the lunch buffet. If there was a snack, I ate it. I'm not proud of myself. I'm not even hungry right now, but this is one of the best cookies I've ever had in my entire life. What am I gonna do? What are you, I'm not gonna, someone paid for me to be here, paid for my meals. The hotel wins if I don't eat this food. I don't want the hotel to win. Also didn't work out. I think this is the first time. Dude, I don't remember last time I took two days off. Have I taken two days off since I started this vlog? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm about to go to dinner, having like chorizo, chicken, dessert, probably some more bread. I'm not proud. But I'm kind of happy. Last day of the retreat, just got out of the hot tub, cold plunge. Just thinking about where I am right now at this crazy, cool, beautiful resort, filming this company. I was like, damn, this is my job. That's pretty friggin' neat. It's pretty friggin' neat that this is what I can say I do for work. Another thing I was thinking about, it's like, okay, I come to this, I come to this retreat, I meet all these new people at this company, you know, you hear them, you watch them go through these like strategy, uh, strategy workshops and team bonding exercises. And you know, you hear their stories and then you talk to them at night. Maybe you see two girls come back from a five to one deficit beer pong victory, like, you you have these you have these all these moments and experiences with these people and then it's done and they all go back and they know each other because they work for each other but it's like maybe I'll probably never see them again. It's kind of a trippy thought. I said no to my third breakfast buffet, which is devastating. Hash browns look so good. I ate so much yesterday. And whatever, breakfast is the worst meal anyways. When you get home from a trip and you get to see your absolute dogs. Such a treat. Wow, what's up? What's up, dude? What's up, yeah. Okay, so every year, Tash gets this Nespresso advent calendar and she cheats. And she opens the big gift up on the first day of December instead of the 24th. Why would I open it on the last day when I can open it the first day and use it every single day? And get joy from it. <laughs> joy sucker. <laughs> That's what you are. Ooh, what? First of all, oh my god, gorgeous. Made it back home. Holy shit, I don't wanna work out. I wanna do this one single bit. But, took two days off, man. You can't take three days off, so I'm just gonna get through this. You know, full body split, you know the deal. Upper body concentration for today. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta do it, like, Shitty workouts or workouts? Not doing anything is just failure. So yeah, grind through this. Have some pizza for dinner. Come back stronger tomorrow. Yo, Monday morning. What's up? Monday morning. Sunday, what did I do yesterday? Yesterday I had a brunch. I haven't done that in a while, so I had brunch. I have anything with dinner. Today, woke up, stupid amount of snow. Started to work it off today with some deadlifts and like decently heavy deadlifts for me, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't really like to go really heavy with deadlifts anyways, but pretty good, feeling good so far, 185. And then I'm gonna do some pull-ups, do some buys and a couple other, maybe a little bit more legs in there. And then, yeah, that's about it. Monday morning, I'm doing a 24 hour fast today just cause I've been off with it. 
I saw George St. Pierre on Twitter doing a 48 hour fast. I'm like, sorry, I saw George St. Pierre on Twitter doing a four day fast. And I'm like, dude, I gotta at least do 24 hours to support my boy. Yeah, not gonna eat today. Hammer out this workout. I did a really small workout yesterday on Sunday, like some triceps, a little bit of push-ups, some pull-ups, a couple other things. It was nothing. It was barely any, anything, but whatever. So I'm just gonna get it done. I also got the party light going because, you know, why why wait till the weekend to party when you can party in your basement on a Monday morning? So I gotta show my laneway, but I also need to see if my snowblower works because I haven't turned on this summer, this winter yet. Shoveling would be a good second workout, but it'd be pretty irresponsible for me to not see if my snowblower works because I'm gonna need that this winter because it's gonna snow a lot. So I guess we'll just see if it works. Oh. Smells so good. Gas. It's weird because it smells good, but it doesn't smell so good that like I want to drink it. It's like they really nailed that. It's distinct enough so you know what the fuck it is. You don't want to drink it. One pull. One pull, everyone knows the rules. tricky. This is where things get real tricky. I'm on uh, like hour 32 of the fast. This is my second workout not eating. This is where you start to get where I have to start to feel really, really fatigued. I don't know. I really want to do both squats. So I really wanted to do quads, but I didn't want to do squats. I watch a lot of Sam Sulek when I work out and, you know, he just talks about, you know, workout fluidity. He doesn't really decide what he's going to do until he gets in the gym. So he's feeling so trying to, trying to think about that more. Like, what do I want to do? What do I want to accomplish? Okay. I'm going to finish this workout full body split. I'm going to do some chest after a couple other little things. Keep it simple. Dude. Oh my God, man. That second work, that second fasted workout, it's different. I only did three exercises. I did split squats, pull-ups, and bench. Pull-ups was rough. Bench was rough. Three movements, 48 minutes. That's crazy. I mean, I did a bunch of sets, but still. I felt almost, uh, I feel almost like a little euphoric, buzzed up, like on the verge about to pass out. Kind of sick though, I guess. Getting a little buzz light eared on a Tuesday morning. Oh. Yeah, oh my God, that second workout with no food. You just feel like you got no energy. And I'm like, what the fuck is GSP doing on these, on this uh, four day fast? Like he's probably working out. Canada's greatest athlete, one might say, who knows? He's definitely working out. He just did a cold plunge in his pool. It's December. Oh. Anyways. Walking me dog. Then I gotta go film some shit. So I probably won't. I probably won't. Uh, probably won't eat till later this afternoon. I'll probably get to like a forty-hour fast. Pretty fucking wild. Pretty good though. Okay, another movie over. Final weigh-in of the week is two o two. So we're down four pounds in five weeks. 
Not too bad. I'll take it. I'll fuck take that. I'll take that shit any day of the week. You know, slow, steady, consistent, long-term vision. Slow and steady, long-term vision. Okay? 39 hour fast today. Broke it earlier with like an apple and a protein shake. Oh no, dude. And a protein bar. And now, crushing the sandwich. Keto bread, chicken, pickle, mayo, light mayo, mustard, easy. And I'll probably have some popcorn later. And I don't know what else. Maybe something else. But yeah, pretty good week. I'm not mad about it, even though like, even with like going away on that like, conference and having food everywhere. Four pounds, five weeks, easy. Double that, let's do it again. Eight pounds in 10 weeks, you can be like a new guy. Anything else I wanna talk about here? I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. Whoa, what's that? Something.